And this, what he doing, is to go even further beyond! Boy, if you don't get- Yeah, 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 I'm choked, I'm choked, I'm choked! Hello again. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Midterms have been hitting me a lot, so I'm sorry I was a bit inactive, but alas, we're back. And so it's chill room apparently because they just added a new character to the second floor, the Arcane Knight. Nope, not that Arcane Knight, that Arcane Knight. A playable version from the monster from Lars of Monsters. He has a new character that costs gems? Nice, another W for free to play players. Hopefully you guys got 12,000 gems stored up. Hmm? What did you just say? Wow. What do you know? So he also posts have the gems. So hey, he sounds like a really nice treat. Until you play as him. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Also in this update, we've got two of the best skins ever. Or whatever the hell these are supposed to be. Some badass changes, hard nerfing the War Legion and the Custom Prince yet again. Seriously, this guy started out with 40 mount health, y'all. And most importantly, optimizations for memory usage so your phone doesn't evaporate when trying to look at your waifu in the menu. And speaking of which, yes, I am using an emulator now. Even though the memory updates were welcomed, my phone is straight up unable to run the game at all after all the updates. It basically closes to exploding. And seeing how things are going, it's not looking good for my laptop either. Wow, it's just like real life, man. What the? And one final thing before we start, no, this channel won't turn into just reviews for new characters. I'm working on the next character video essay, just that I was busy. Alright, let's stop beating around the bush and let's talk about the master of Arcane himself, the Arcane Knight. The Arcane Knight is a damage character with 5 health, 5 armor, and 220 energy. His gimmick is short and sweet, charges. If there is a weapon that charges, it's automatically better on the Arcane Knight. If there is a character that benefits from charging, it's automatically a top tier duo with the Arcane Knight. And if there is a reason to hate the Arcane Knight, it's gonna be his passive. The Arcane Knight passive is that if you charge either his skill or a weapon while standing still, you build up stacks. Before I tell you what these stacks do, I'd like to tell you that neither his primary weapon nor his first skill are defensive or have any iframes. So wait, I hear you say. You have to stand still to charge up your passive but you can't protect yourself while doing so? That, well, that passive must be insane, right? Well, what this passive does is... Increase crit chance. That's it? The charge time is also extremely long, so you're basically just inviting everyone to shoot you. Now, I don't usually take the symptoms worse in the game lightly. I even do things that I generally believe have no reason to exist when everything else is just better. So believe me when I say, this passive may be just the worst passive in the whole game, even worse than the rogues. You have to expose yourself or chase the room entry in order to gain the crit damage. And at the end of the day, the reward is literally just crit chance. Here are better books and characters that give you better crit chance than this book. <laughs> What sucks harder is that this is the character's primary passive, meaning that when they get a defensive ability eventually, running it will be mandatory to get any use of this buff. Also, need I remind you that weapons that don't need to charge get a higher crit chance by charging up anyways, so you may as well be watering seaweed. While I do appreciate that it has a UI element, something I suggested in my Legendary Heroes video, this may just be the most annoying passive to play around in the whole game, so much so that I didn't even bother using it during the footage. And people call them Airbender of Physics bad because they stand still. Try doing the same thing except with low defensive and underwhelming damage. His primary weapon is a staff that charges and sends a projectile that deals damage. Yeah, that's it. Basically a worse real gun. I really wouldn't recommend taking this to anything more than World 1, unless you want to reenact World 1 every time you play. Darkin's Knight's first skill is Power Burst, it works quite differently than normal skills. When used, the Arcane Knight charges and fires projectiles that home onto enemies to deal damage. They can't go over walls, but the low cooldown and the ability buff that reduces the charge time adds up 50 PS. If you charge up a weapon, namely your starter, the skill charges and fires automatically alongside it. Charging and firing the skill does not interfere with your weapon usage, meaning that you can constantly use the skill for damage regardless what else you're doing. The skill changes based on the current weapon equipped. The homing projectiles are default, but if you have a laser weapon, two lasers will be fired alongside it, and if you're using a melee weapon, the attack changes into a melee slash. This might all have sounded a little bit complicated, but it's basically just an extra damage. The set. It's basically a better version of the first officer skill, a way to squeeze in damage while you attack with your weapons. Now understand that the game is a bit power crept. Characters have so many different things that they can do and some of them make the game for both casuals and sweats, but it's shocking how lame the arcane knight is. For a character that looks this good and was released after these two gem characters, it's hard to not at least compare them, and when you do, he falls down really short. 
His passive is useless, his starter is whatever, and his skill is basically just bonus damage. You can't even say, well he goes less gem, so of course he's gotta be a bit worse, because the rogue and the assassin, some of the best characters if not the best characters in the whole game, cost food crumbs, while characters like the priestess cost a fortune for some reason. Gem price has nothing to do with the character's strength, and the huge lack of any iframes or damage to compensate really pulls this character down. Overall, by his design, nice potential, but falls off really hard, and says he has no other hero to prepare him with like we did with the swordmaster and the lancer, I'll be giving him a C grade instead. Thanks for watching, I apologize for how short and unenergetic this video was, but so is the caster, so so me. Consider subscribing and liking the video for more content like this, and thank you guys so much for supporting my videos and the channel. The 1000 subs dream is getting very close to reality. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.